Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quixel's Tridvid Suite. Tridvid Suite, now with sound. Well, after two fairly good episodes with absolutely no sound, I think I have got my problem solved and I have no idea for the life of me why it decided to switch to my headphone mic when I don't have a headphone mic. But there you go. Anyway, I got this one double checked before we started today, so we should be good. Now, uh, it has gone by the financial report. I forgot the last episode, even though you didn't hear me say it, um, that we were we were going to try and launch another mission before the end of the month. And I thought the Highlander, was, or sorry, the uh, Black Knight was going to be back before the month end, but it wasn't. So I decided to get all the mechs fixed. Let's have a quick look at the uh, mech bay right now. Get an idea of what we're working with here. So all the mechs came back. We brought the Avatar forward, and I did talk about it, although I don't think I showed the video portion of me trying to figure out what to do with this. I was thinking about doing a double MRM 30 build, um, but I'm not really sure. I mean, MRM 30, or sorry, MRM, like, MRM 60 is not too bad. It's only like 300 damage. Uh, that's if everything hits. And the accuracy with the, um, you know, by mounting the, uh, the weapons in the arms and, you know, um, the Artemis fire control, the Apollo ammo, it's actually not that bad if, if we, you know, I don't know if, if we have the, uh, you know, the, um, what's it called? The, the targeting systems and things like that. It wouldn't be too, too bad, but I just don't know if it's, if it's, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still up in the air whether or not I'm going to do it. Now this refitting this mech, is going to be cheap to, to outlay. So it's not so bad. I haven't really decided what to do yet. Uh, the Orion has now been repaired. Uh, I did pull off the some of the head well sorry the head was was gone so let's have a quick look at this guy i didn't really do anything to this thing i pulled off the, the long range targeting system that we had on here um uh no sorry it was the i left this on because i didn't need it for anything i i took off the exchanger which i put on to the vulture and yeah, now the exchanger was only uh, uh the single level inner sphere so it's only minus five percent heat minus three heat sinking basically but it, it helps out a fair bit with the vultures, so I got it in there now. Um, but I think I'm just going to put this guy in storage. I don't think there's any need to keep him out. We're running, kind of getting closer to the end of the series. The rotary rifle kind of ran its course. It wasn't really doing, you know, what I'd like it to do. Now this mech is not quite set up for it, but I just don't think it's the right, uh, um, the right fit for what we're working with right now. So I'm just going to put this guy in storage for now. That'll give us a little bit more stuff to work with, a little less payment at the end of the month. I mean, we're still hovering with just a little over 2 million, so it's not so bad. Bushwhacker is coming back soon. The Batter Snatch, I'm not really 100% sure on yet. Uh, but the Avatar might end up replacing the Stormcrow, which we did have to rebuild kind of after the last episode. We lost most of our weapons. I'm going to show you what the refit is on this. And we talked about making it, a, or I talked about it making it a quick striker, which uh, you guys really didn't get a chance to hear. Now we, wait, why is there only the Bolt-On AMS here? What was I looking for? I was looking to put something else in this and I can't remember what it was now. You know what? Let's just put in... Um, Advanced Zoom Mark 1 is what? Negates no visual at close range. Optics is like... There's no point to have it on this guy. The thermal vision really helps, especially if we have somebody overheating. And it's got the zoom, thermal vision, night vision. Let's just put the zoom on for now. I think we just put, yeah, I think just, I think we'll just do that. That's fine. Um, but I decided to go a little bit different with this guy. I let the fire control system predator in. I was going to put an uh, energy fire control system in, but I didn't have one. This thing's actually not that bad. It's got, you know, the bonus to the, uh, 10, like 10% bonus to the called shot location. The only, the only place that this falls down a little bit is medium range, which is only plus one instead of plus two. But for the most part, it's going to end... Like, and it's got, what has it got? Uh, night vision. Um, so that's actually pretty good too. It's just one of the one of the few things that we were missing off of the advanced zoom. So that's not bad. I put an AR-12 uh, sheath beacon in here um, because it's really great. It kind of has a really great ECM jamming. Also dropped in some stealth armor. This needs ECM. It's only plus 5% heat when activated, so it's not too bad. Plus heat per turn when active. I think it's active by default. So it might be on as soon as we start. You notice our heat efficiency is a little bit out here. Uh, we're 12 over, but we're not firing everything. The two ER smalls put out 12, uh, 360 meters. We don't necessarily need to fire those every single time. 
running a pair of X pulses in this uh, with a uh, uh, diverse optics medium laser uh, SRM6 with acid ammo uh, an AP Gauss rifle and a mag shot in here left the laser AMS in put the case on the one side here for the acid ammo uh, we don't need to worry about it for the mag shot ammo because it doesn't explode and once again 2 ER small so if we want to just like you know um, do a lot of damage when we get in uh, close that's what we're going to do also added the supercharger for increased speed uh, plus one heat sink modifier for the center torso a couple of extra heat sinks here so heat efficiency is actually not too too bad we'll see how it is when it's actually in game I did the math and it seems to be working you know fairly well but I did try to fill up all the slots I was also add to, was able to add a little bit of M, uh, armor we had a bit more, like we had we were 20 down in the center torso the backs were a little lower than this the legs were a little lower than this but I was able to add I think almost a full ton of armor on which isn't too bad uh, we, we kept the tag of course so yeah this should be a nice little close in attack mech um, with the stealth armor and the supercharger to help generate more evasion pips I think it'll work out really well we also got a bolt on AMS just because when we get close I got a feeling we'll be taking a lot of hits and if we get hit by like you know that archer type of mech again where we took the the MRM like we basically took our whole side uh, at least we'll have a bolt on AMS with the laser AMS to help us mitigate that so that's what the goal is with this guy. Let's validate this real quick. And that's about it. I didn't change really right. anything else uh, with it. the exception, like I said, of putting the... Where is it here? Um, we kept the uh, light AA missile rack, but then I put in the exchanger, I believe, in the CT. Yeah, the exchanger. So like I said, this one isn't... Like it's the, the first level of exchanger, so it's not so bad. Uh, minus three heat return, my cyber percent weapon fire. So it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but that's fine. And we kept, of course, everything else stayed the same. PPC capacitor, a couple of ER PPCs. So we'll get it to run that in the next, not this mission, but the mission after. Uh, and the mainland stayed the same. We didn't really have any repairs we needed to do on these guys. This is going to be interesting. We had I, um, we had heat problems in the, in the last episode that we played with this guy. And I didn't get a chance to talk about it too much. But actually, you got the Zoom Mark 1. Let's take a quick look at that. Maybe we should put on... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the zoom off you, and I'm going to put on the optics. Because we have the long-range plasma cannon and plasma rifle. And I'm thinking, with the optics, once it starts, to, once mechs start to get he heated up at a distance, we'll have an even better chance of hitting them. So let's put that in. Get that validated. We'll spend the extra day here before we launch. Uh, manage our tasks here a bit better. Put you at the top. Put you at the top. Let's spend that day and then we'll figure out. I don't know what mission we're going to do today. Haven't decided yet. But we'll have a look here. So let's go to the command center. Find out what we got. Should have some good Tamron Abbey missions here we can take. Maybe there's a uh, Marianne mission. Uh, there should Yeah, it's kind of restocked itself. So there's a lot of four and up above. Now the planets of four skull planet. So this is against who? Defending base against Tamron Abbey. Who at four and a half? I don't know if the mainlands can do four and a half. I mean, maybe. But they always get good mechs, so it's it's like that's a really iffy. This is what escort mission. That's local government against local government, though. This is escort against Tamron Abbey at four and a half. Oh, it's brutal. Capture base, urban environment, planetary government at four. Hmm. What's this guy against Lyrians? Two lances of mech has dropped to Sackville. Uh, assault and dislike. I can't do that. Um. Oh boy, it's a four capture base against planetary. Let's go after that one. Go full salvage on it. Actually, no, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go three twelve. We'll go for some more sea bills. You know, it's weird. This whole series, I have not got one Clan XL engine put in anything. Where in the past it was kind of a staple. Now it's like we just haven't put it into anything. Everyone should be up and ready to go here once we get this up. Right? Yeah, Pegasus and Ferret. Let's run those. 
I mean, we could go with an artillery, but I think we're going to go for a quick strikers. It worked out well last time, so let's do the same thing. Let's go. Yeah, I know you say that. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Location provided by our employers. There it is over there. Okay. So we've got mostly close-in fighters with some range support. So we are going to not want to go into open areas. We are going to want to maneuver ourselves. Uh, if it doesn't lag. Uh, my question is, is where they're going to get reinforcements from. So if we approach from this way, it looks like most of the buildings are blocking anybody that's in the base from seeing us. Uh, we could approach from here too. Let's take this spot right here. Gives us some room to maneuver. We can go left or right depending on where they are. Should have enough AMS to ward off the initial strikes, I think. If they've got some long range. What you got, Bubba? They got turrets. Anti-tank turret. Well, good thing I didn't bring tanks. Heavy light goss emplacement. That's kind of a oxymoron, isn't it? A hardened command bunker. I want lasers on that sucker. And long tom turret. Figures it's got to be the farthest away from me. Okay. Well, it's going to get a shot off. Not a damn thing I can do on. about that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to push this place. Oh, God. It's just going to shoot the streaks down, though. we got to spread out, too. That long time's going to do damage. All right, let's get in here. We're going to try and kill this command turret real quick here. The Black Knight should be able to finish it up, I think. I think we'll have enough movement to get over here and get a shot at it. So I'm going to leave the streaks off. Because it's just going to shoot them down anyway. And I thought I had gone and set all of my mechs. But I guess I didn't. In the order, I, I set a bunch of them up, but wow, that's terrible. Taking the shot anyway, though. Well, at least the tag hit. Ready for orders. All right, Scooter. Um... What do we got? A pair of X pulses. Actually, not bad a chance to hit either. Let's go after it. We've got to get as much damage on this thing as possible, as fast as possible here. Let's just get rid of it. It's got the AMS, so we got to kill this thing. All right, not the greatest. Yeah, I thought I had set these all out. Maybe it was the second lance I did. I organized the like the firing order, but I think it was the second lance I did it with. I thought I did it with this lance too, though. Wow, really? Thanks for showing up. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's not be near that. Pollen F. Oh, we're spread out a little bit, but not a lot. All right, I'm glad I put that uh, optics on here. I want to crank you down to the bottom, though. Um, yeah, let's just fire the one. Roger. Wow. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Let's get some speed. Let's not let that other turret see us, though. That's probably good. Copy that. This thing is going to survive. Damn it. Well, let's see if we can get any of them through. Fire. Yeah, no. Oh, one went through. Waiting for orders. You got tandem. I'm gonna put you down here for now. I'm trying to spread out a little bit here if I can. 
Got a good research. Yeah, I can see that. We saw it when we were coming down, remember? And yeah, we know they got turrets. Hopefully our vehicles, if we can Commander? kill this turret, it's got a lot of armor, but if we can kill this turret between this turn and next turn, then we should be able to fry that other turret with the, uh, with all of the, um, other stuff we have. Yeah, I'm sure I, or I, I organized this, but I guess I didn't. Good chances to hit, though. Let's take this. Primitive. Oof, nice. Not enough, but if everybody else had done their job, it would have been. They got a sensor lock on me. Of course they do. Oof. I can't take much more of this. Reporting major armor loss. My armor's melting off. Armor showing minor damage. Yeah, these guys are serious. But then again, so am I. So am I. Everything on this guy, please. Oh, for fuck's sake, shoot. Ready for orders. What do you got? Heavy rifle and pair of rocket pack 20s. And 320 armor. Alright, we gotta clear the way for everybody else to get in here. Gotta clear the way. Let's do that. Hopefully these streaks will land something. Actually, want the shotgun to land first and open up holes for the machine gun to follow up with. Fire. Okay, the AMS must be jammed. Good to go. Now the question is. Nope. Okay, stay on target, man. Stay on target. Here. Split up. Split up. Alright, switching these to SRMs. We don't get much use out of them normally, so let's just use them on this guy. Okay, good damage. Solid connection on that one. Commander. What do you think? To walk you up here, get your stability back. That's probably just sensors. Got a barrage in coming on you too. Yeah, we can't hit with anything else other than this plasma cannon. Let's go with the rifle on it. Get some damage at least. I don't think this matters, but we're gonna do it anyway. I've got a sensor lock. Turret stealthy, so let's just fire this. Okay, good damage. I think I hit something good. Aye, aye. You know your job. Your job, should you choose to accept it, is to move in and kill this guy. I feel like we've spread out a fair bit here now. That should finish this guy off. Fuck you and your rockets and your fucking heavy rifle. Turret destroyed. I'm receiving you. Can you get out of that barrage? Oh man, the trebuchet's in the way. Doesn't matter where I go, but it's probably better if we go forward and keep the AMS On my way. Double time. around our guys. And please don't miss. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that shot. Taking the shot. See ya. Nice. Brought it down, Commander. 
He was just thinking about it the last second. He's like, yeah, no, I don't think we'll, uh, fuck that artillery. Four and a half skull turrets are no joke. Uh, let's get this fucking... Okay, you've got what? Light goss. But I don't think I can let that guy fire anymore. Oh, boy. Um... Guy gets a shot at me anyway. That building is in the way here. What if I can get... Gives him my back. Oh, for a supercharger. It's 99 all across the board. Let's just move over here. We'll shoot this turret. I think we can get them both. Yes, Commander. I think we can. Okay, I want you there. Confirmed. Ignore this turret. Shoot the long tom. Yep. Locked up. Okay, good damage. Standing by. You should be able to finish that turret. I know we're hot, but we got good heat sinking, so I'm not that worried about it. Ah, we're still we're still tucked in underneath the heat cap there. And I'm fine with using everything. Let's just kill this turret. What's it got? 200 plus change? We got what? 120, 190. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Let's just hope we don't miss. Confirmed. Yeah, I hit with everything. Pop. There we go. Target eliminated. Okay. Yes, Commander. Now you. Can you vigilance yourself and get your asteroid up here and knock that building out of the way for me? This one right here. Yeah, it's, we're a little hot. How much hit points does that building have? 49. Well, one heavy flamer should kill it if we hit. Let's hope one of these two hits. Locking on. There we go. Okay. Target destroyed. Now, standing by. I need you. Uh, I don't know if the. Uh, Moving fast. Cool. I don't know if the Peg Pegasus is going to be able to get up here. We'll be able to hit with everything, though. God, it's a lot of armor. Confirmed. We're not going to have the juice to kill this guy. Unless the tandems do something. Standing by. Although, now that we're within certain range, though, he's probably going to shoot the Black Knight. Yeah, Commander. Because I think we're a little close with most of these guys for him. Understood. Moving fast. I think we got to switch to MRMs, too. We'll see what our chance to hit is with the SRMs. Yeah, just lift your leg there, bud. Coming through. Coming through. Um... Nope. Let's go with the better chance to hit. 
to make sure we get it. Yeah, not enough. See what he does. Heads up, Nothing. Commander. Beautiful. We've got hostile contacts inbound. Orders. Don't know why he didn't do anything. What do you think? Roger that. Oh, we picked up somebody. I think we're protected here, though. What do we got? Grasshopper. Marauder. Just those two that I can see. Looks that way. Grasshopper C, so it's probably an older one. 8H or BH? BH. Don't know what that one is. I'm sure I'll find out. Uh, let's turn these two off. And go with these two. Drop some heat here. Engaging the target. We have enough firepower to kill this thing, so I'm not worried about it at the moment. I'm really hoping it's more than one lance. Wait. Orion. MB. Somebody's shooting at the Duke. The Duck of Death. Ooh, okay. She can't take much more of this. Yeah, you fine. Receiving you. You aight. Who kills that turret? Vehicles or... No, the mechs are going to kill the turret. The vehicles are going to head towards the enemy. Close the gap a bit. We'll park right here. Affirmative. Keep the AMS in range. And then we'll go after this guy. Uh, what do we got left? Well, we got better fire everything. Let's fire it all. Roger that. Should be enough? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that baby. Gone. Yeah, baby! This guy needs some barbecue over here. Oh, yeah. Keep moving in. Ooh. Hey, mess ain't doing shit. Taking some heavy damage. I'm ready for orders. We got an Orion to kill over here. Flames on the way. I'm gonna take the flames. We're gonna move up to here. Let's move. I could have moved into there, but that guy at the end of the road can see us, and that's could be a kill shot. He seems pretty accurate, so. Well the Black Knight's overheating too, so it's probably why you can see it better, but so what do we got with the MRM? 64, 32 with the SRMs. MRMs it is. Here you go. Engaging. Oh, there's somebody else beside the uh, Marauder there. Stop! You're just embarrassing yourself. Damage is minor, Commander. Trebuchet. Don't know what version. I'm here. All right, Scooter. Uh, we know who we want. We can't cross the street just yet, so we move into there. We'll probably end up halfway across and get shot at, so we'll hide behind the building, take shots, and then we'll sprint across next turn. Hammer this guy. Targeting for an outlet front. I'm here. We'll take the... F oh, man. Don't get that close. That's good, though. Roger. I mean, I could have tried to lure that guy into that energy cell or whatever that is. The power converter. From Tashi Station, but, uh... Wow, it's like down to 11. Let's not hit it. Let's hit him instead, eh? Copy that. Okay, lost his evasion. Orders. 
I cannot move that far, but we will move back. So our left side's got more armor. Not, a lot, not much more, but... So we'll turn more to the left here. We're going to get pummeled next turn, but at least we'll be in the trees, so that'll help a little bit here. Target this guy. Let's get our speed back for next turn. Drop all that and just fire these guys. Target acquired. I mean, the benefit of the chem lasers, too. And I'm sure you guys know this. Collected some heavy damage. But if you've got them as supplementary weapons, even if you get overheated, you can just turn everything else off and just use the chem weapons, right? All right, that's the Marauder. We want to shut him up. Forty percent. Let's try to shut him up. We're a little warm, but I think we'll probably be okay. We'll take the next turn off, probably. So we'll fire these two. Gonna heat us up, but we're all right. Actually, let's sensor lock him. Oh, look at that. I always sense the, I sense a lot of people that the evasions will never be changed. That's a lot of energy. Let's warm them up. Got it. Nothing. Maybe I should have just targeted the ground. Orders. All right, we can move. Good. Get away from that guy. Move into here. Acknowledge. Marauder can still get us, but we're going to go after this guy. Wind everything back up again. Let's give it to him. See ya. Enemy destroyed. Black Knight FTW, baby. I'm liking that build. No big heavy knockouts, but it doesn't doesn't need that. Okay, AMS is my guys. Not bad. How many did we get? Light damage. Holding firm. Never mind. <laughs> we didn't get any of them. Standing by. Didn't get a damn thing. Orders. All right. Who do we want now? Let's get into here. Affirmative. Probably this guy. Probably. Yep, let's give it to him. Oof. That guy took it CT, baby. Orders. Alright, Scooter. No. Oh, God. Push this turn or next turn. Let's go next turn. Let's go into here. Understood. Moving fast. Let's get ahead of them though. Or try to anyway. Okay, not too bad on this guy. Oh, that was a leg hit. I thought it looked like a CT hit, but you never know. We might be able to pull the leg here if we get lucky. Nope. Didn't even open him up. Oh, what's up, boss? Your mission, should you choose to accept it. One of the ATMs is jammed. Let's go after the. Uh, let's go down here. On the move. I know we're low on armor, but this evasion should pretty much help us out. He, that guy should target our mechs, but you never know, right? You never know. That's pretty good. What is it on this guy? Not as good. Um, what about SRM? 57, eh? Now we'll go MRM. We got lots of ammo. Roger that. All right, Junker. Right. Same place. Can we get... We can. All right. Let's make them work for it. Make them pull out and shoot us to reveal their side to our mechs. Okay, hey Duke, hammer this guy. Everybody fights, Technology. nobody quits. 
All right, we got him open somewhere. Probably the arm. Got past the armor. You did. Yeah, arm. Medium laser gone. Not that it matters. What are we on? 16, it's his turn. Yeah, he's coming down the road. He knows the threat. It was this building. And he took care of it too, like a boss. I can't take much more of this. Neither can I. It's insanity, I tell you! What are you doing? All right. Ready for orders. Now what? Yep, we're just going to do it. Let's go to here. Stay out of the main, main roadway. Let's hammer this guy. See if we can get that arm. Confirm. Fire. Open him up somewhere else too, it looks like. Oh, we got the arm. Okay. Target taking a critical hit. Ready for orders. What do you think, Yan? Can you uh get back here? We got it closed. We can't do that from up there, so we're just gonna pull back around here, and we're gonna go after the ground with just the rifle. Let's put it right. Oh boy, um, there. Oh, got him. Nice. Did we actually hit him? Is that what happened? I'm ready. I can't tell. I can't tell. Affirmative. Out of the fire, buddy. Let's continue our fire at this guy. Engaging target. Yeah, shoot everybody. Critical hit, Commander. Standing by. Okay, Metal. Um, you gotta move, cause you. Standing still could be bad. Can we get? We cannot. I mean, you know he's going to shoot for us, but he doesn't have a lot of weapons left, so this could be a, not a kill shot, but at least we can pull this torso if we get lucky. All right, let's give it to him. I right, copy. All right, we're shooting everybody again. Receiving you. Um. Fuck this trebuchet. Okay. I mean, we could try for the kill on this guy. This guy's got no back armor. Let's go after him. Copy that. Alright, he's got three armor critical protection, looks like. Looked like it. Okay, here comes here they come. I'm hit. Oh, Damn it! I'm hit. Losing armor. Yeah, well. Standing by. These guys are here for the fight, that's for sure. Alright, let's move in like that. Roger. They are here to fight. This guy is so toasty. Marauder still has a chance to go, so let's go after him. Confirmed. Nice. Got the peep. Scored a critical hit. So he hasn't got much left. 
You ain't got the juice, buddy. Would've been nice if they had two lances, though, but whatever. We'll take it. Hey, I thought we destroyed a PPC. Light damage, Commander. Oh, you know what? Does he have one on his shoulder, too? That might be it. He might have one on his shoulder instead of the autocannon. Look at you jumping around. Yeah, you see how they switch targets. Oh, somebody's fast. Oh, of course it's the Marauder. And Mr. Barbecue here. Where are you going? Dude. Waiting for orders. Um. Roger just that. chase this guy down. He's not allowed to get out of here. Come on, man. Thought we had a fight going on. Let's just put these all into his face here. Engaging with target. Solid connection on that one. Well, Jenkins. Waiting for orders. You are sorely out of position. So let's just reserve you. Just in case. Reserving action. Just in case. You hoppy motherfucker. They penned the armor. Internal structure damage. I'm here. 14 activations. Alright. Acknowledged. Hide from those other guys. Well, let's go after this guy. What's up, my buddy? God, this trebuchet's... My heat sinks can't take much more. Whoops. Watch those heat levels. Did I do that? Shutting down. Did I do that? Alright, get the hell out of here. You did your job. Let's go. We'll come back next turn. We shall return next turn. Waiting for orders. Can you actually put the supercharger on? How far can we get now? Pretty far, but we cannot get a shot off. Damn it. I gotta move now. Alright, stay there. Understood. I thought for sure I could get a kind of a shot from the angle there, but no luck. All right, fine. At least we got the AMS up here. There you go. Now we got a fight going on. However, you brought one large laser to a multi-large laser fight. Oh god, do I go that way or move over this way a bit more? A little less chance of, uh... A little less chance of connecting with our own guy, but we got pretty good chances to hit. Actually, we've got, uh, this that doesn't really matter, but... Does it? I don't know if they changed or not. If they did, it was neglig negligible, but... Oof, brutal! I'm here. Loving this Black Knight. Oh yeah, the armor's gone in the back. Get over here. Just knock those things out of the way, will ya? Thanks, appreciate it. Alright. Marauder's up, probably. Yeah, 24. It's gotta face my quick draw, though. Oh, it's going the other way. Shoot in the night. Oof. They've blown past my armor. That's my peep side, too. Yes, Commander. Switch arms. Okay, this guy hasn't gone yet. Let's go after the guy that hasn't gone. We have a better chance to hit him anyway. 
Hammer him. You brought a gla grasshopper to a Black Knight fight. Scored a critical hit. Commander. Grasshopper to oh god, this thing's like right here. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Roger. What's the worst that could happen? All right, we took a shit ton of heat. Gotta drop the bin laser for for temporary. That'll probably blow his arm off. And claim a lot of these guys. We'll still have a PPC left though. What about this guy? This guy isn't gone yet. So let's go after him. Locking on target. Well, see ya. And he'll never go again. Hostile eliminated. Alright, earthquake. Let's just do this. Location confirmed. I'm not risking my vehicles against this guy. I'm just gonna pull back here and take a long like a LRM shot. Oh actually is that MRM range? Yeah, it's actually a pretty good chance to hit too. Oh LRMs are better though. Does less damage, but we don't get a chance to use LRMs so much, so let's Copy use those. Oh brutal. Critical hit, Commander. That was good internal damage, man. Standing by. Uh, I'm just gonna brace you there. Receiving you. All right, Yan, the hammer, uh, supercharger off. Stay to the side. And that's pretty warm. Fuck it. Let's burn them. Not that it matters, but I got to get in the habit of just keep doing this. Got a lock. Yeah, I know his evasion's unchanged, but whatever. Shoot him! Burn! Oh, man. 103 heat. Yeah, he had it. <laughs> 103 heat. That was brutal. Of course, you just bring the dropship in now. Couldn't have landed with a dropship earlier. You had to drop us some pods, huh? Mission successful. All right. Well, they put up a little bit of a fight, but, I mean, they weren't really in, a, in any position to do a lot of damage. If that lance had dropped when the turrets were there, or was there with the turrets, it would have been a better fight, I think. But as it stands, I mean, that wasn't too, too bad. Let's have a look what we got here. Uh, so the BH is what? The Bounty Hunter version. All energy. Mounted a standard PPC in each arm. Another PPC immediately mounted in the right torso. Yeah. So that replaced the autocannon, I am assuming. I mean, it's great for, like... Wait, what? Sorry, I mean, it's great for, like, long, like, lasting fights, but... I'm just looking down. It's like at, uh... Level 20, Gunslinger, plus three cluster to ballistic weapons. What ballistic weapons? I think it's just a Marauder chassis that gives you that, but still, it's like, this guy has no ballistics, man. No ballistics. Orion MB, LBX Auto Cannon 10 version, Goss Rifle. It's actually not a bad loadout. XL Engine, which got him killed. Pair of light Goss Rifles. Uh, how much do these things weigh? Like 12 tons, right? Yeah, they're pretty... It's great range, pretty good chance to hit. Good, good crit chance. 55 damage though for 24, well, 110 damage for 24 tons, plus ammo. Not too bad, I guess. Double heat sink kit. Heavy rifle ammo. Hmm, what do we take here? Got two of these already. I mean, I guess I could take it and sell it. If we're going to be putting a Clan XL in something, I'm definitely going to need that. Although I could take the double Glight Gosses. Or, we don't have any Marauder parts, do we? We do, we have the 3M. 
Yeah, I made the mistake a couple of episodes ago. You guys didn't get a chance to hear it, but I grabbed... Was it one episode ago? Last episode? Yeah, last episode. I grabbed a piece of the Archer thinking that it was compatible with the other ones, but it's not really. They're compatible with it, so I had to grab two pieces. So I don't know if that's the same thing with this where I have to grab two pieces in order for these to be compatible or if it'll work with just those. And we got a shit ton of Orion parts, so I'm not... I mean, I don't plan on assembling an Orion anyway. We do have a full treb if we want to take that as well. I mean, I guess I could take the Marauder... One Marauder part, one Treb part, and one Orion part. And put together three mechs. Actually, let's take both Marauder parts. Because we can kind of already put together an Orion anyway. Is this guy any... What does this guy got? One Ballistic. Two Missile. Two Laser. That's the same. Oh, this guy's got way more. The PR. But it's not compatible with the PR. And that's got three missile. So that's not that great. Let's go this route. This will at least hopefully ensure that we can assemble this mech. Maybe we'll get some good stuff out of it. I don't know. There's not a lot here. So let's just do that. Yeah, we got the Grasshopper part and Orion part. Trebuchet, we, got, we, got, we chose the Trebuchet. The AMS, we will sell because we have enough. The Narc Launcher, I don't think we have any. Oh, we got one. Let's hang on to it. Active camel Camouflage, we'll hold on to. Double Heat Sink Kit, I'm going to sell for the money. Uh, that can go. And Heavy Rifle Ammo, we'll hold on to. Well, I don't think we'll put a Rotary build together anymore for this series. I'll hold on to it just in case we decide to. Oh, 191. I thought it was going to be more than that. The Black Knight took a fair bit of armor damage. I thought it was going to be really pricey, but I guess our two... Well, even the Vindicator, or the Trebuchet, didn't take a lot of damage. I was going to say the, the two Quick Draws didn't take much damage, so... Yeah, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright, let's assemble those mechs real quick and see what we get out of them. Probably not a lot. I'm gonna, I gotta work on this avatar. Let me know what you think. Uh, I mean, when I picked up this avatar, I was gonna say, or I was trying, going to explain the build on it. But like, if you guys think we should try an MRM60 build on this thing, I mean, we could try that. All right, let's go into the mech storage here. Uh, heavy mechs. So let's put this guy together. Yeah. See, I had, I have no idea if that would have worked with that. Probably. But we'll get more if we do it this way. Put now that together. To fight, and then let's have a look at the Orion. So it's the PR. Yeah, we can't... It's not... Comp oh, it is, but I think we need two pieces of this. Kerensky's custom variant. Yeah, I think... You know what? I think that, that BH, the one that we just put together... I think we did need two pieces of that. I think these specialist ones you definitely need two pieces, while these other ones you don't necessarily need that. So the MB, this was the LBX one, and you've got what? The K, standard variant, the V is what? Additional weaponry. So let's go with the MB, we'll grab the, not the protector. Grab you and you. Confirm that. That mech you wanted is back online. These are all just going to get trash, so it's not a big deal. I just want to see what we can get off them. We still need more sea bills too, so that's that. Yeah, see, it was the XR that we picked up, and I can't assemble it, unfortunately. We've got enough for a grasshopper too. What do you know? So the N is the newer version. The C is what? No, it's not. It's a newer version. So let's assemble this guy. It'll be more costly, but I think it's worth it. Oh, not that much more costly. Costly. For. For and then we'll have a look at the Treb. I'm going to leave the uh, Crusader. I still haven't decided. I might bring it back. I haven't decided yet. We'll just leave it there for now. Uh, but let's go to medium. 
and we've got the Treb. I think it's this guy is the better of the two. Magna XL engine, right? Is this guy running XL as well? Trench buckets. Yeah, let's just go this route. And it's a little more costly putting it together, but we might get an XL out of it and we'll make some C-bills that way. At least when we sell it, it'll be worth like 70 or 100 and something thousand, I think. So we'll get the money back. All right, let's have a look at the mechs here real quick. So we'll look at that one last. Trebuchet first. What do you got for me? Well, it looks like a lot of it came back, but we'll see. LRM-15, Narc Launcher. A couple of jump jets. Another LRM-15 came back. And all the internals are gutted. All right, well. Let's trash you. All right, you can go. 191. So we made about 100 grand off that. That's not too bad, plus some gear. Let's have a look at you. So you're the Grasshopper C. With newer tech, apparently. What do you got for me? Engine heat sink plus one. ER large laser. And that's about it. So, not too much, but at least we get something out of it. So we trash you. And what we get for the cast? 371. That's actually pretty good. We'll take that. At least made 300,000 off that, roughly. Orion MB. Let's have a look. Looks like this guy's got some stuff on him, too. We get the XL engine, although it's damaged, and so is this. Light Gauss rifles we got. Um, some Gauss ammo along with it. LRM ammo. SRM ammo. ER medium. NARC beacon. That's ammo. Cool, because we need that, I think. So, yeah, there's a little bit of things to sell here. We've got another plus one kit, so that's perfect. Nice, we're getting some good stuff off these. All right, so we can trash you. 429,000, beautiful. And then we got you. Let's have a look. All right, let's see what you got for me. A kind of cool looking color scheme. All right, nothing. Nothing at all. Wow. Even though it's like fully, like, I guess it's not fully intact, is it? Not a bad color scheme, though. Although why it's like not in my colors, I have no idea. But I guess because it's the hero mech, whatever. Yeah, not bad. Um, oh boy. Eight lasers. I almost don't want to sell it, you know? How much is it to repair this thing? Um, let's see here real quick. What are we looking at? 800,000? Yeah, I don't think so. We already got the banner snatch and it's coming back soon, so... I think I would rather, like, I think our energy builds um, are better off in faster mechs. So, yeah, this guy's got the double light 20s. I think we lost one of them, but we do have one sitting around, so I'm just going to scrap this guy. 476,000. So we did get a bit of, bit of C builds for that. So now we're at 6 million. So we made a couple of million. Um, this guy, we can do an MRM 30 build on this. Right? It's... There's like a lot of stuff that's... Oh, there's another light goss rifle too. I mean, we could do a light goss build on this. But it doesn't have... It's got tactics increase. I mean, I don't know. So... This was a tricky build to try and put together. I'll just do it real quick here and show you what I was thinking. So you could go with the 60 build and 3 tons of ammo. So where's my MRMs here? Here we go. So you put one of these guys in each arm. Right? Weight's already up there. And then uh, we wanted to max out the armor. Because the armor's low. 
So already adding a bunch more tonnage. I mean, we can reduce this by like like three quarters of a ton, I think, by taking some back armor and stuff off. Right? We could lower it down. Two off there, two off there. Uh, maybe two more off there, and then like something like that, and then a little bit more back in the CT. So that's that taken off. Um, so for internals. We'll need, for sure, double heatsink kit. Oh, we've already got one. Never mind. Uh, what was that I was looking at before? I can't remember. I think I was trying to do a stealth build on this thing. I think that was what it was. And I was, and I put the. Was it the active? No, it was the chameleon I put on this thing. Yeah, sixty-two tons. Right. And then you go with the ammo. Now we've got only a little bit of uh, MRM. We don't have a whole lot. Where are you here? So we had MRM acid ammo, half tons, right? And I think I included, um, let me see here. Where was the MRM ammo? Tandem, yeah, it was the incendiary. So I had, I had, I think I had two tons of Apollo, right? I need the Artemis system in there. Damn it! All right, where are you? Uh, I'm gonna put these in because we don't want to close with this guy. You want to stay at range. Um, where is up here? Artemis, there we go. We need that, and then uh, ammo down here. So two tons of Apollo. Each one of these is four turns. So if we want to just go straight damage, we can go that route. And then incendiary, I think we have to carry just for, just in case you need to overheat. And then you're down to, like, not a lot, right? I can't replace the structure. I know that. So we're down to three tons. So it's technically an MRM-60 with a pair of medium lasers. I wish I had a 10. We don't have an MRM-10, do we? I don't think we do. No. Because an MRM-10 is 3 tons exactly. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's interesting, kind of. Our movement's like what four four six, yeah. We're not very fast, so you want to stay at as long or like long a range as you can, which is why I wanted to put the chameleon on because we're gonna have a lot of face time towards the enemy all the time. It'll end up being like the vulture, where it's like it just kind of like moves around at its max range distance was like f what five hundred and forty, yeah. And if, if the enemy closes, we back up a little bit, you know? The four pack is what? Four tons? So yeah, I don't know what else I would put on here. Like, me, like, I mean, we might be able to squeak another ton somewhere, somehow. And then put like a... a clan large, if we have it. Uh, large improved heavy. Or, I mean, we can go with a couple of medium improveds. Wow, how much heat do we have, though, available? 66 out of 66. I think this is actually wrong. 27, 54. Yeah, this is wrong. 54 and 24, because there's two of these, is 78. Yeah, it's reporting the heat wrong. I think that's what I found last time, too. It's not... 20% weapon heat generated when active. Is that what it's doing here? No, it's not. See, even the heat sinking is still now. It says it's flush, but it's not. It's still 78. We're still generating 78 heat, but saying 66. So if we're going to run the chameleon, right, which is 20% weapon heat,
15 heat per turn plus 20% weapon heat when activated. We'd have to not fire these and add heat sinks. So we'd be, ba we'd be basing the entire build on a pair of MRMs and hoping they hit. So we'd have to just go with the regular double heat sinks here. One, two, three. We don't even have case. Right? So it says 84, but it's really 54 plus 15, 69 plus 20 percent weapon heat, which is another 11. So it's like, what did I say it was? 54. 69, 80. It's 80 heat with just firing the MRMs. And then another 15 per medium laser. The other thing is, is if we don't go with the chameleon, right, we're gaining two tons, which means we need to put... Well, not, no, we can, so we can lose one of those now. We can fire everything this way. That should be 78 heat sinking, 78 firing with these two. There's no increase. So we got three tons to play with. We need to have probably the Guardian Clan ECM, which is only one ton. Not the best ECM, but we put that in. I want to keep the bonus to hit chance here. Like if somebody closes with us at short range, we're not going to be, hit, be able to hit them, but that's fine. Um, Guardian ECM and then something. Like we could always put a couple of more lasers in, a couple of more medium lasers and use them at close range, but it seems like a waste, you know? Actually, one question I do have. I should probably just end this now, though. One question I do... Oh, we don't have an added armor yet, that's why. Um... Can we do this? We can. All right, so that adds the accuracy to those. Normally you can't do it with bigger weapons, putting these in. So I think things like Gauss rifles, auto cannons, things like that, you can't put the lower arm in. I've tried it. Uh, so let's go with... Yeah, we've got to keep the Artemis in there. So if we go with... Clan Pharaoh. That way we get case on both sides. And we've still got a bit of tonnage. Put you there. Maybe we just grab... I mean, could I reduce the armor a little bit? It's very rare that I ever get lagged, you know? Like, we could do this. That gives us four tons. Oh boy. So we do, what's our heat sinking again? 78? So if I don't fire these guys, it's 24 extra heat. So I'd have 24. I mean, that's a large laser. I mean, you want to try and stay heat neutral, but you want to also have... Good fire output. Um, something that's going to give us the same range, roughly. That's not. 360. Like, ER mediums are the same range, right? Well, no, they're not. They're 480. These are, what, 540? Uh, not those. This guy's close to the same range, but they can't sink that heat. There's no way. Large pulse is 27, but it's 7 tons. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I'm not thrilled with it, you know? I don't... I mean, it's an armor stripper for sure, but that's all it is. I mean, we could drop a light PPC in and a heat sink, you know? To give it a bit of range. You could do that. Yeah, see, it can't, PPC can't be used in the arm. 
have to go in here and then a heat sink where are you here something like that you know It's only 700,000 and nine days. We haven't put in though targeting systems, so we want to do that. This is 540, right? But if we're not using this one, we might as well use this to help out the PPC for a range. Cockpit, do we have anything? I think I might have a clan cockpit here. I do. For the extra gunnery. Don't have much. Uh, cockpits. It's one of those things I'm just not getting it, you know. We could go with tactic support. It'll help with initiative a bit. So let's drop that in. Long scan. No. I think I want the tracker sensors. The additional to hit. I mean, it's actually pretty good. So the minus one accuracy for the weapon, plus one for the arm makes it zero. Apollo ammo, when we're firing this, is plus two accuracy, plus one evasion pips ignored. So we can hit relatively fast mechs because this is plus one ignored as well. Right? And then we've got the plus two to hit from this, and then if we're firing at long range, another plus two from this, so plus four, plus five for this. You know, it's, it's not that bad. And of course, because it's... Uh, MRMs, it's minus 25% chance to be hit by AMS, so AMS ain't shooting it down, you know? So, I'm thinking that's probably the way to go. Thermal vision as well. But we go that route, and then I think we do, for the weapon, I think I've got... We do, I mean... Sniper rifle's not bad, 20 damage. 10 internal. But I think there's also, we've got, if I'm not mistaken here, there's the Thunderbolt 2-pack that I took off of the, uh, off the Stormcrow for range as well. 840 meters, 20 hit point missile, minus one accuracy, but it's a nice hard hitting weapon if we can get a long shot on somebody. How much weight do we have? Seven tons. Although we could put on our triple bolt-on rocket as well here. Actually, how much does this weigh? Thunderbolt's light, isn't it? It's two tons. Triple bolt-on incendiary rocket. I thought we had another handheld here. I, not that we could use it anyway, because this thing doesn't have hands. Although we have a light AA missile rack. I think I'm going to throw that in there. Eight hundred forty meters. I think it only fires if it actually. It's a streak launcher. Yeah, only fires if the roll succeeds. So I mean that's pretty good as well. And it's like eighty damage, two forty damage missiles, plus ten internals. Minus fifty percent chance to be shot down by AMS. Yeah, we'll use that for sure. All right, 10 days. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? That way, if we want to do a slug out match, we could probably drop the Vulture or we could drop the Stormcrow and then do a slug fight with this guy. All right, drop a little bit of weight, add a bit of weight. When the Banner Snatch comes back, it could be the Avatar Banner Snatch go in for these two guys if we're doing a heavyweight fight. You know? We'll have the bushwhacker for uh, for alternates. So it would be something like this. This is a backup. This is a backup. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's manage our tasks a bit better, and then we'll call this episode. Actually, I'm going to call it right now, and I'll manage my tasks afterwards. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section down below. Make sure you check out that quick sell site. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>